talking in Howard Beach versus Bensonhurst, to be honest with you. Um, well, so I, well, when are you talking about? Uh, I'm a little younger than you, so I want to say in the 90s. Okay, uh, so no, Diker, I love Diker Heights, but I don't consider that like kind of mob area per se. Just figure that's kind of where nice a lot neighbor. of guys live. But like if I were to compare neck and neck, say, hey, Bensonhurst in the 90s, you know, going like 18th Avenue Feast and that kind of stuff, which was still kind of strong back then and for that life versus Howard, Howard Beach, I kind of felt like this, and this is like, I'm going to probably get shit for this. I kind of felt like the, 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 the soldiers lived in Bensonhurst, but the bosses lived in Howard Beach. That's just well, my take. Well, that's, but, but it's inaccurate. <laughs> you know, that's the truth too. And not that there wasn't any bosses that came from Brooklyn. Yeah. Uh, they, you know, uh, uh, Carlo Gambino lived in Brooklyn. You know, there was, it's just, there's no knock to the Brooklyn section of New York at all. Yeah. It's just that they would be telling you the same thing. If you were interviewing a guy from Brooklyn, they would look at us in Queens different. We looked at them and we all as a group looked at Jersey. Totally <laughs> <different>. <laughs> Agreed. All right. So, so, okay. So you're hanging out in Brooklyn. You got a chip on your shoulder because you're a Queens dude. What happened? You're with your boy Guzzo. <laughs> Guzzo. What happened next? What happens is, is he call, uh, calls me one night and tells me to come down to the restaurant and I, and I go down and um, he explains to me that there were guys from Brooklyn. Cause once again, Anthony's a Queens guy yeah. and that he had been dating at the time, the owner of the restaurant and that, these guys, one guy threw a party for himself. <laughs> so us, us Queens guys ain't even throwing parties for ourselves. He threw a party for himself. <laughs> Another Brooklyn dick, but yeah. yeah. He threw, threw a party for himself and had about 30-something of his 30-something guys came. And they took a room. And, um, at, you know, as you know, when you book, book, book something in a restaurant, they're going to yeah. give you different prices. And I guess his open bar ended at let's say 11 yeah and it, and then after 11 uh if anybody wanted a, any any drink thereafter it's going to be a totally different tab, a cash right? bar or whatever yeah yes so that that ends with, with at 11 o'clock or whatever it was and now they 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 run up about a 1500 dollar tab Yikes. afterwards right yeah. so when the guy goes to pay the bill he just wants to pay the first bill and when they hand him hey by the way here's a second bill for the bar tab he you know starts a whole big scene and says no and you know he you know he's a little drunk and belligerent plus he got 30 guys at the party was he was he if you don't mind me asking was he a, was he a connected guy that guy who had the party as far um as the supposedly these were con guys that were uh, around and you know meaning that they were associated to the columbus yeah, so so there's an incident that takes place between Anthony and one of the guys, and I'm not there for any of that. But yeah. on the night that he calls me to come down, um, he's explaining what happened. And, you know, I went there for dinner uh, and brought another guy with me. And while we're, while we're, we're there, um, lo and behold, who shows up outside is um, – uh, one of these guys from the party and he got this big gorilla guy with him and um they're talking to the owner's son uh right and and anthony comes to me and tells me that they're out there and to just speed the story up uh, anthony and i go and approach these two guys and get the better of them and um yeah and um as a matter of fact they <laughs> we you know, we, this was right before Christmas and their friends complained that, you know, these guys got really banged up. You got to see what they look like. And, and Anthony, I was saying, Anthony and I used to kid around and say, we were giving out slips and uh, uh, kicks and slaps for, for Christmas. Uh. And, and um, so, but what ensued after that is, is that these guys obviously ran to whoever they were with. And now we started hearing that, Guys on the street were looking for this John and Anthony, and they, they were looking for us. Who were and, they? Hold on. Can you share who they were with or no? Um, I had no idea at the time who, who, but was, who it, was, was. It legit, but was it legit? Because, you know, you know, it's a lot of guys, you know who I am. Um, just have, the guys who say that are nobody because. Absolutely. They shouldn't be saying that. So, so um, but, but when, it, when these guys sent out feelers, the Colombo guys, 
sake of argument, let's say they got back to their Colombo upline, whether it be a made guy or captain or yeah. strong associate. When they yeah. kind of put the feelers out there, could you tell, okay, hey, you know what? It's the Columbos and these are like real guys or no real guys or what was the um, behind it? But yeah, well, here's the problem is that at the time, both Anthony and myself have kind of stepped and stood on the sidelines and didn't put ourselves around anybody at that point in time. So it would have been a little hard for them to try to reach out to 